discovering the wonders of our state's natural resources, and exploring the thrill of outdoor adventure. Mississippi Outdoors is a co-production of the Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries, and Parks and Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Welcome to Mississippi Outdoors. I'm Amanda Mills. And I'm Randy Newell. Thanks for joining us. In our first story, Melvin, Randy, and I go dove hunting at Howard Miller WMA. Then we head south for some speckled trout fishing with Todd Shayu. Let's go. Randy, get him! Well, we have to go to the Kroger tonight for food. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey, can you believe it? Opening day of dove season. A little hot, but we got a cool breeze blowing, so it's not going to be bad. I'm talking with Stephen Chandler. Stephen is a biologist with the Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries, and Parks, and he's over this area here. Tell us about where we're hunting here today. Melvin, today we're at um, Issaquina County and on um, Howard Miller Wildlife Management Area. It's a 2,400-acre waterfowl area. For our waterfowl, we lease out 1,700 acres to a farmer, and um, he plants rice on the majority of the place. Um, the department holds back 700 acres to manage in moist soil management. Um, we plant a few crops. Um, it gives us a good mosaic throughout the whole area. We're here to dove hunt, mm -hmm. and I, it's only five or six people here. <laughs> now, that's remarkable, you know. It, it is. Uh, how do you manage for doves? What did y'all do here? Um, this year, we planted herbicide-tolerant sunflower, black oil sunflower, with bush hog lanes and disc lanes around the edge and through the middle. Um, we applied some herbicide, just some burn down uh, recently, just to go ahead and kill all the vegetation. How big is your dove area? Our dove field this year is 12 acres. 12 acres? 12 acres. How many people can you handle? We normally say one person per acre, mm -hmm. um, but the way this one lays out, we could probably fit 15 or so. So first come, first serve? First come, first serve. Well, Stephen, I'm checking in. My mm -hmm. first time to hunt here. What do I have to do? Well, we'll take a walk over here to the permit station and pull a visitor use card out and start filling it out. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll give us the A part back, put B on your dash, and you'll be ready to hunt. When you purchase your hunting license, you also need to purchase the WMA user permit. It's a $15 permit that covers every management area in the state. On Howard Miller WMA, we require a non-toxic shot for everything from doves to waterfowl, of course. Um, we do that because this is a waterfowl management area. Right. We figure if we need to use steel for ducks, might as well use it for doves right. here, too. Man, I can't believe it. Here's the first day, gun loaded, birds flying, some shooting, no birds in the last... Oh, gosh. Mm, mm, mm. Got him, but man, that's going to be a tough to find. But I got to go look for him. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Thick cover. Rattlesnake country. I'll tell you, I was fortunate to find that one. Because he dropped right in there in that thick cover. I'm going to face this way, and all my shots from the hill are going to be back out this way. It's tough to find one back in there. They're going back over there. Here you come. That's a flying Ow. dead bird. <laughs> All right. First dove. It's hunting season. This is fun. I guarantee you, anybody sitting in the house watching football today is crazy. Oh, right. I got one. Uh uh. They dip down in that, in that rice weed, and that rice. And then they came right back up. We, that we fourth watched. one didn't fall? I didn't see him. Now, I'm going <laughs> to shoot a box of shells before I hit a bird, obviously. Oh, here I am. I've my gun loaded. Look at that. Hey. 
Tak. <laughs> oh, me. You almost had him. Got one of them. <laughs> Got him. That was pretty neat. <laughs> Bird down. <laughs> You're the best bird dog I could ask for. <laughs> I know. Thank you. First of hey. for the season. Oh, hang on, hang on. Let me dig mine out. Mine's a little bit bigger. So these things may come in here. There you go. Luck to you. I'm shooting three times at that rascal because that makes me mad. Little rascal, I know I got close to you. Boy, that gun sounds serious. Y'all better tighten up. Point bird getting. Ooh. Good shot. Good retriever. Yeah, look in there. Straight. Straight in front of him. Yeah. Hey. That's half my bird because I found it. Sorta. Of. <laughs> Melvin! <laughs> Y'all ever watch them birds and sunflowers? They'll land right on top of these things and hang upside down eating them. Oh. Ah. Hey. I think the shoot is about over. Birds have flown down. They're not flying now. And I see the other crowd getting a little restless. So we'll make a pack up here and see what we've done. Randy, what do you think about it? Hey, we were just talking. <laughs> in the last few years, this uh, is more doves than I've seen in a long time. The most I've seen and the most that I've met, missed in a long time. <laughs> we had fun. Hey, we didn't get many, but we shot. <laughs> hey, Amanda did good, too. She did. Hey, she shot and she got some. Yeah. She got a few. But we burned up some steel oh. today. Well, it worked out good for us. I believe I hear Amanda calling us down there. Let's check her out. Amanda, the sun is sinking low. We're just about to lose it. I'm within two birds of having a limit. Ah, well, not me, but... Hey, we've had a great day. I mean, golly, it's just been a great hunt all day long. You about ready to pack it up and hit the house? I am. We had lots of doves. And I got to hunt with you and Melvin, so that was special to me. Hey, and we so... all shot. Oh, yeah. It was a great day. This is a fabulous place. You ready to go home? I hate to drive, but let's go. Let's do it. For over 70 years, Mississippi Outdoors Magazine has served the readers of the Magnolia State. In it contains several interesting features such as wildlife photography, a lunar table, and even a kids page. Subscriptions to the magazine are very inexpensive and when you subscribe, you will receive six bi-monthly issues containing articles on hunting and fishing in the state, public lakes, state parks, and even our wildlife management areas. For more information, call our toll-free number at 1-888-874-5785. Hey, folks, we're going trout fishing today. We've got a good friend, Scooter Gaines, here with us. How you doing? Doing good, Scooter. We're going to try and uh, chase some trout, maybe even a couple blackfish. I hope so. Um, with this oil spill, and they put all this boom and containment stuff out. Since we don't have any oil coming in anymore, yeah. blackfish are hanging on it, these booms and things. So I've had a good bunch of reports of guys who working the oil things have seen a lot of blackfish under these things. So on the way back, we're going to try a few of them. It's hot dog days of summer. So we're going to go deep. We're going to start hitting some of our wellheads again. Thank goodness they're back open. We're going to lose, uh, use uh, live, live bait? No, we're artificial today. Uh, we, we can't get our live bait yet, so hey, we're going to fall back to plastic. That, that'll work for me. Caught them a many a day. It's a nice day, too. The water's calm. It's going to be a beautiful day. We're supposed to have a good, calm, calm seas today. 
What do you say we've cranked this new Yamaha with our good friend Bobby Lamb at Atlantic Marine has hooked us up with? Sure is a sweet four-stroke four Yamaha. Four-stroke Yamaha, new tech 2010. That'll work. It is a beaut. Let's uh let's go get it done. <laughs> Hard to pass up some birds working when you see them. They were shrimp were jumping. Ooh, probably a cat. More than likely a cat. Jim Walker calls that his favorite horn trout. The best advice I can give to you is get one of these little dealies right here. Don't touch these things. They'll hurt you. They're slimy, they're nasty. Get you one of these little flipper tools. Ooh, that's a blue ribbon back there. Yeah. Magic machine you got there. When we were kids, we didn't have that fancy tool like that, so we'd take a handle off a five gallon bucket and we would bend it <laughs> and make our own. Usually two cats. We're gonna book it on that. Another one for the old skillet. He's got a little bit more action on him, doesn't he? A little bit more, little bit more Well, thank you, Todd. <laughs> That's called catch and release. <laughs> Good. He runs for our next spot. And we see these birds, and they do have trout. A box fish. Good. That'll work. That's what we call soccer trout. Oh, these are perfect size fish right here. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got me? That's going to be pretty good right here today. It wasn't as big as yours, Scooter, but. Woo. Another one for the pot. I got him. He hit it three or four times. Man. Another fat trout. That's a little sister right there. Yeah. <laughs> that was a pretty fish. That was pretty. Hey, look how it come out of the mold, huh? <laughs> Dip and dog. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. I got to go to the back on this one. There you go. Okay. I like speckled trout fishing. I was thinking about getting one tooth pull out when I have an old snag like that. So you're gonna get your teeth like that? Yeah, I thought about getting one of my one of my front teeth pulled out where I can have a get the full effect. Just like that. Oh, I did need the net. You win some, you lose some. Let me ask you a question, huh? You ever eaten this kind of fish before? I thought about it. You made, have you made the decision yet? I think I might try one. Yeah, see, look at that. that great box of fish right there already. Watch them rods. Yeah. Get in there. Oh, man, that's a big red fish. What do we have room for him in the box? Here you go. 
Now we're hitting. That's what I'm talking about. When my videographer can't feel his hand, we're catching fish. Good fish, good fish, good fish. What do you think? Scooter, we should have got some live bait or we don't need that stuff. Well this time of year when it's really hot like it is oh, yeah. degrees, twelve foot of water. Uh no pressure on it. He is a good trout. Yes sir. Man, I was reeling it in, try to pick it up, you yeah. know. Can we make it to the bottom? I'm gonna bring this with me. There you go. Need to make it out. That's what I like. I like it a lot. I like it so much, I think I'll do it again. Real bright. Storm bait. That is a keeper. Well, Todd, we've caught about 35 trout. Um, we've been looking for some blackfish. Uh, we haven't seen any. The tide stopped moving. Uh, it's midday. It's getting kind of hot out here. What do you say we get on in? I say we get on back in. We'll fillet up this fish. Yeah. Uh, we've got that big red fish in there. That's it. Fillet on the half shell there. And what's our saying? On Mississippi Outdoors. Only on Mississippi Outdoors. Did you know that the money spent on your hunting and fishing license is an investment? The Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries, and Parks uses money from license sales to enhance hunting and fishing. Like providing public hunting opportunities for wildlife management areas. Advise private landowners on deer and habitat management. Providing public fishing opportunities on state lakes. And operating fish hatcheries for stocking public lakes and streams. So make an investment in the great outdoors. Buy your Mississippi hunting and fishing license today. In our next story, Amanda and I go to Octibaha County. It's an early season hunt for Canada geese. going to go, it's going to start over there, it's going to come right back around the blind, and then down into that bottom over there. Hey folks, we're in Octibaha County with Tom Wiley and friends. We're on a early season, as a matter of fact, first day goose hunt. And um, we've got everything set up, decoys, blinds, and all we're waiting on now is the geese to fly by. Tom, tell us what we can expect today. Well, I'll tell you what I'm hoping to expect. Uh, we've got a big lake over here, and we've got the Knoxby Refuge back here. The geese have been feeding in this field. I've been watching them pretty close. Uh, we've got the wind at our back. Goose spread out this way, goose spread out that way. Big opening in the front. Probably going to make a big loop over that farmer's house hopefully come right into the wind, right in our face. For people that don't understand, when they all come at one time, that's, that's the only uh, flight, the only shoot that you get. You, you typically aren't going to shoot, you know, they're not going to come back after you've shot a few of them out of it. Now, we will, if it's a small group and we kill uh, most of them, we'll stay, we'll stay down, and I will try and call back the one or two that are left. That'll work sometimes, but... But typically, if it's a really big flock, you know, and we kill four or five out of it, or six, seven, or whatever, the rest of them aren't going to come back. How are we going to know they're here? We're going to hear them before they get yeah, here? Yeah, we'll, we'll hear them. Mm -hmm. And I'll, uh, I'll freak out and tell everybody to get down and keep your head down and be quiet. Now, how long have you been calling. goose hunting, and what, do you, what calls do you use and all that? Well, I, I used to own Flex Tone Game Calls. I started that in 1997, and, and uh, before that, I was mainly a duck and deer hunter, and just started getting into goose hunting shortly after I started the, the game call company. Um, 
and I sold that company, um, I guess, in 07 to Wild Game Innovations, and uh, I still work for them mainly in product development, designing new products. Uh, last year we came out with the Buck Collector deer call sign, Michael Waddell, and that's been a huge success. Uh, it's d definitely the best deer call I've ever designed, but today we're going to be using a call that ha has been out, I think it came out in like 02, 01 or 02, the uh, Flex Tone Guide Series Canada Goose Call. Oh, there they come. Behind us. Heading up, everybody. Heading up. I'm gonna tell you that that's exciting. You get a bird that big. I mean, you're talking about these birds weigh 15, 20 pounds. You get one um, land in your lap. We're talking about shooting at 10 yards. My heart, I, I, I finally say, my heart pounds. Adrenaline flowing when I'm deer hunting. I can definitely say it pounding adrenaline flowing when you goose hunting. <laughs> This is us. Get him. Hey, get on, guys. Let's pick them up. Ty, let's pick them. That is a big goose right there now. That's pretty good, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> Park them. Back. Don't scare them. Don't scare the cows. Surely they'll lose interest and go on here in a minute. <laughs> One it's my first opportunity of the year to get out and do what I love most is hunting. Hey, let's, let's hurry and see if we can get Not a lot of people in Mississippi take advantage of this early uh, season goose hunt, but uh, we've been doing hunting this farm uh, here in Octubai County for I think this is our eighth year, maybe nine. I, I think a goose can eat about four pounds of grass seed a day, one goose per day, and there's you know a couple hundred of them using it. So, you know that. Um, you know, he, they're a bit of a nuisance to him, so he's hes excited to get us out here and shoot them, and he's probably not as excited as I am about it. But I love the waterfowl hunt. I've been doing it for a long time, and sometimes I think, well, you know, it's getting an old hat or something, but the first, when we sat, you know, we just got everything set up, and that first time I heard him honking, my heart. I mean, I really, I, I have done this a bunch, and I noticed, doom, 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 and I was like, you know, I am really thankful that, uh, that I still get that excited. I mean, immediately, as soon as I heard that goose, I mean, hands got a little shaky. I mean, I, I, I absolutely love it. Hey, that's all the time we have for this week. Hope you enjoyed the show. Join us again next time for more exciting adventures. Until then, I'm Amanda Mills. And I'm Randy Newell. See, See you outdoors. outdoors. Stand by. Then we head south for some speckled trout fishing with Todd Shayu. Let's go. Who's stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was good. It just went. <laughs> <laughs>